Greetings YouTube, Kevlar Chicken here, coming in as promised with another review. This time I'm doing the Cold Special Combat Air Gun or CO2 Gun. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Now I will show you the box that it comes in. I've had this for quite a while, but I kept the box. So, okay, this is... This is the box that it comes in. Now I will try to open it without it falling off don't worry I will let you get a closer look like so Now, let's quickly talk about the main characteristics of this gun. Like I said, it's not a real gun, it's a CO2 gun. First, it has this little safety here. The magazine is a just normal release. You press this pin here and it pulls out. And you can see that it's a pretty standard CO2 magazine with the spring here. And this is where you can put the CO2, you load it like this. Just let me put this down because it needs some extra space. So as you can see, it fits right in here. And as you tighten this, the air will fizzle out. And then you tighten it quickly so it doesn't, so not that much air goes out. And you can see from the side how it looks. This is the CO2 capsule. This is basically the power source of this gun. This is the magazine. It's very heavy. It's pure metal. And it apparently holds 19 BBs, which is, which are these little things. Now I have the steel ones. Uh, if you're, the store you bought this from has copper ones, I do recommend the copper ones because they tend to bounce back less. Also, always use eye protection. These ricochet a lot. That's the one of the issues these replica guns have. Otherwise, it's pretty cheap to shoot, especially compared to real guns. Because basically, this and this is your ammo. And this is the more expensive part because this usually lasts two or three magazine stops but you can get 3000 of these from anywhere from 9 to uh, like 12 dollars I guess depending on the store but you can find your own bargains or discounts now I'll quickly remove the CO2 because I will not be shooting this one sorry to disappoint you but this one is actually broken however I have had it for quite a while and I do like it. It took a lot before it finally gave out. Now one of the features I like, as I remove the safety, is that it can work in double action and in single action. You can cock this back and can fire. However, as you can see, mine is stuck because it's Oh, it's had some issues in the past now okay never mind it fell apart now the reason for this as I have a few missing parts on this but there is no spare parts for CO2 guns that's pretty big bummer sorry about that now what I recommend this well if you have the money for it on original it is a full metal construction but it has the downside that it's a bit overly complicated because of the single and double action feature it makes it more prone to breaking like it just did but I've had this for a few years and I dry fired that a lot which is apparently not something you should do but it is $119 compared to the Luger which is anywhere from 50 to 60 at least back when I bought these two and this is also a full metal construction it's just the non blowback version so 
unless you're very heavily into it being the blue bag version I would recommend just getting the Legends PO8 that I reviewed it's also more accurate now this one uh, what I don't like it is obviously it broke down and I can't use it anymore uh, what I do like about it is it feels very nice it's a full metal construction pretty much everything is super nice and it went through a few thousand BBs so pretty much the normal lifespan for something that's both single and double action because the mechanism is more complicated and you know it's not as sturdy as a real gun still obviously it's not made to handle <clears throat> that much pressure because it's only the pressure from this little tube um, and let's talk briefly about the other characteristics now I would actually recommend this if you want it and you like it aesthetically and you do have the money for it I would give it like a 7 out of 10 because they did make pretty much everything out of metal so it took a lot of beating before it finally gave out and with proper maintenance maybe it could have uh, lasted a bit longer like uh, I was so infatuated with the trigger because if you pull, pull the slide back you could have a lighter trigger pull and I toyed around with that a lot when it wasn't you know actually firing so I dry fired it every single day for a pretty long time before it broke so keep that in mind you now this is still a pretty sturdy construction and I like it very much aesthetically the only downside is that the trigger is not in the design of the original 1911 they decided to make a special combat version I don't know why that is but this company does also offer the old version, old timey, you know, original look of the 1911. However, that one is, is a lot cheaper, but it's not full metal. And for something that was made in, well, 1911, I think it would have been great if it had been a more metal construction. It's almost entirely plastic, whereas this is the exact opposite this is almost entirely metal pretty much everything except the trigger and the handle scales is metal and maybe the sights it's not very accurate but it's okay for a co2 gun it's like average now i will briefly talk about the main characteristics however they will also be in the description down below now it fe the features are well this is something I've already mentioned like 10 times but a metal slide steel BBs 4.5 millimeter 0.177 caliber it takes CO2 cartridges like I said you can use pretty much any type you want doesn't seem to make too much of a difference it has a 19 round capacity I have been able to fit one or two more BBs 20 or 21 but I would not recommend that because the top one either falls out or puts too much pressure on the spring so if your CO2 gun says like 21 capacity then you can load 20 I mean potentially you can load 22 but you should load one or two less so you don't wear out the spring because spare mags are almost as expensive as the gun itself uh, like I said, not that good of a market for uh, spare parts in these types of guns, sadly. And it has a rear sight, which is nice. And it has some other stats that I will just put down in the description down below. Because these are too specific. And it's uh, pretty much standard power. It's... Uh, dangerous up to approximately 300 yards apparently but i think that's the maximum distance it can go i don't think it's obviously you can't shoot that long but it's uh, good to be aware of what's behind you up to that distance because it is still a steel projectile anything else that's interesting well it's approximately 300 feet per second is the velocity of these 
pretty standard for a uh, gun of this type and um, overall I'd give this gun a 7 out of 10 but maybe for some of you it might be a 6 because it is on the expensive side you are getting a lot of for it but still it's a more complex construction for a semi-automatic gun that's both double and single action and it, it being uh, full metal doesn't save it from breaking down as you could cl clearly see it broke down in several parts so yeah make of it what you will but if you want to see more reviews like this or me just playing games or doing some other types of videos and if you enjoy my style uh, click like and subscribe comment that really helps and as always thank you for watching